On September 5, 2003, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at the Disneyland Resort suffered a catastrophic failure that resulted in train number two derailing and killing one of the two riders seated in the front row. The derailment was caused by a maintenance technician signing off train number two for service, even though it had not been properly maintained. When train number two entered service, two bolts on the front of the decorative locomotive car holding the bottom half of the left wheel assembly were loose and the safety wire, intended as a backup to the bolts, was not installed. After a few cycles, one of the two retaining bolts unthreaded itself due to vibration from the train traversing the layout. This left just one bolt holding the guide and upstop wheel to the floating axle on the front of the decorative locomotive car. On the 12th cycle of the day, the other retaining bolt failed and the guide and upstop wheel on the left side of the floating axle for the decorative locomotive car fell to the ground. The floating axle now had nothing to prevent it from sliding too far to the left, or from moving too high in moments of negative G. Riders were loaded for the 13th cycle of the day for train number two. The train left the station and traversed the first third of the layout before entering a high-speed right turn. This turn caused the floating axle on the front of the decorative locomotive car to shift further to the left than designed. The right wheel assembly made contact with the track and the front car began to bounce and move erratically. After this high-speed turn, the train entered an uphill section surrounded by a tunnel with brakes placed on the track. The now derailed but still moving at a high-speed decorative locomotive car struck these brakes, causing one to break free of the track. Near the top of the small hill, the decorative locomotive became lodged into the track. The force of this was so strong that the couplings that attached the decorative locomotive to the other cars broke loose. This caused the first passenger car to slam into the decorative locomotive. The impact killed a rider in the first row and injured several others. The collision also derailed the third car of the train. At this point, most of the speed was lost and the remaining cars coasted slowly down the hill into the brakes, stopping the train. To learn more about this accident, as well as what was done afterwards, watch the full length What Really Happened I made covering it. Thanks for watching this new type of video from me. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.